Prime real estate along Mission Bay undergoing a major environmental cleanup. Yeah, this is big for those of you who've been wondering about that eyesore by Mission mm -hmm. Bay. The city is right now demolishing those remaining mobile homes near De Anza Cove. This after decades long fight to clean the area. CBS 8's Chris Grow joining us live from Mission Bay. Quite the demolition day today, right Chris? This was years in the making and it was quite a bit of a show here again to be able to actually watch just one of what will be many demolition jobs that will be ongoing here in De Anza Cove and hopefully again transforming the look bo both for our eyes but also for the environment. Take a listen. There you go, one of the many mobile homes being demolished. Again, they are still working on a number of other mobile homes, and this is going to take several months to have this project completed. But let's talk a little bit about how it is that we got here. Now, it was several years ago that the city had a lease for this land for housing, but it expired, and people who lived out of those mobile homes on the land, they just left. And some of those uh, mobile homes, they not only had junk left behind, but also potentially asbestos. Uh, we also know the vegetation here went wild, the vagrants camped out, graffiti became a common site, but all that is being cleaned up now. We're actually told that some of those mobile homes that contain that asbestos were actually already taken care of be, uh, prior to today. And the work that's being done here, this is also being done by the same company that operates Mission Bay RV Resort and Camp Land on the Bay. That's who we heard from today as well as Mayor Todd Gloria. They are removing these trailers, cleaning up this area. They're in charge of this project. In exchange, they're going to be allowed to put up 147 campsites, which promise to be affordable and open to the public. But we're also being told that this is going to be a big boom for the environment as well, too. This is, in many ways, a Herculean task, but we are all rooting for this group, right? We all want to see this be successful. Uh, and what's going to happen is, again, clearing out this debris in these trailers and to, to create a more coastal access and an opportunity to enjoy it both as recreation and in a more natural state. And as you can see right there, that mobile home in our time lapse video, it, it does take a, a, quite a bit of time in order to actually get the entire structure down. You can see them actually spraying water there as well, too. Of course, we live here in Southern California. Any little bit of spark could potentially be a hazard. So that is why, of course, while they're tearing that down, using that heavy machinery, also spraying it down at the same time. Now, as for when potentially you could see this done, could be the end of the year. The, project the portion of the project that will be complete maybe by the summer would be the improvements to the pedestrian and bike paths something that people have still been using even with these dilapidated mobile homes still in view and a lot of the growth and all the overrun so again there will be improvements we are being told made day by day month by month but the, the target end date here for this project scheduled to be by the end of this calendar year reporting from mission bay i'm chris Grow for cbs 8.